Uh, my name is Peter Fair. I'm a managing director with Golub Capital. So we are a credit-focused asset management firm. Uh, we manage about 20 billion. So what does Golub do to stay competitive? Uh, so we are relentlessly focused on maintaining a long-term investment perspective. There is a big difference between chasing yield or returns and chasing good credits, and we are heavily focused on the latter. Uh, meaning that in the short term you may make some investment decisions to help increase your yield into companies that maybe are a little bit riskier, which may be nice in the short term, but anytime markets turn, uh, you're, you're very vulnerable. Um, and so you'll end up creating losses for your investors. And I think for Golub, we've always been very focused on making sure we, we only invest and go aggressively after the good credits. And we think that creates a lot less volatility in our portfolio and makes us a lot, be lot better longer term investor. So what have I learned from my worst boss, boss ever? Uh, the first thing was, uh, I guess this is always be honest. I'd worked for a specialty finance company one time where uh, our CEO uh, had a penchant for embellishment, uh, telling people uh, you know, stories about how we were funded, what we could do for their companies, our scale, our abilities, uh, all of which uh, were a little bit exaggerated. And, and I think what's happened there is while that company is still in business, uh, that reputation is now out in the market, and so now they're forced to invest in probably subpar credits. Um, and so for me, I think if you sacrifice your integrity, um, it's a pretty myopic uh, way to invest, um, where really investing is a long-term game. So what could improve your knowledge? Sure, so if you're raising capital for your company, uh, you need to think out 24 to 36 months ahead. Uh, not just 12 months, because whether it's macroeconomic conditions, whether it's individual performance issues with your company, capital markets can, can turn rapidly on you and that capital may not be available for you. So there's some questions you should probably ask yourself or ask your lender uh, when going into business. Um, has that lender ever been through a downturn? How have they acted during that downturn? Um, what is the true cost of refinancing my business? Uh, while money may be cheap in the short term, having to refinance and bring in another lender is expensive, not just from a fee perspective, but also from a timing perspective. You, it takes a lot of time to get, to get people through diligence, through uh, legal, um, and then at that point, you know, you're, you're taking your eye off your business.